You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Galavis Smith versus Thompson Jackson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day, Your Honor. Hello, Miss Galavis. You stand before the court with your 28 year old daughter, Miss Smith. Only three years ago, you revealed a lifelong secret to her. You confessed that the only man she's ever known as her dad may not be her biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson, you yes. say you were in love with Miss Galavis and at first did not know you might not be her daughter's biological father. But after an argument erupted on your front lawn, you say the truth finally came out. Yes. Mr. Jackson, now you're the yes, other Your potential Honor. father and you've never met your possible daughter face to face until today. No, I haven't, and that's thankful. Now, while you have paternity doubts, you claim to have evidence that could turn this case upside down. Yes, I do. Uh, we'll get to that evidence in just a moment, but first, Ms. Galavis, you were intimate with both of these men pretty much around the same time. Yes, Your Honor. Wow. Mr. Jackson, wow. do you remember the relationship with Ms. Galavis? Yes, I do. Please describe to the court. We met mutually through family, family and friends, and she seemed attractive to me. We started talking at that time and we started dating. So you were dating or did you have any idea that she was also dating Mr. Thompson? No, I did not. Uh, yes. Mr. Thompson, yes, you Your obviously Honor. remember the relationship with Ms. Galavis as well? Yes, Your Honor, I do. So, Ms. Galavis. Yes, Your Honor. When you're dating both of these gentlemen, were you telling each of them that, oh, I'm dating you, but I'm also dating other people or did each man think you were exclusive with them? I didn't tell neither one of them. I will admit, I will wit Mr. Um, Jackson at first, and um, we had been dating for black a year. So when you t came up pregnant, what'd you think? I thought I knew because um, when I was with Mr. Jackson, M Mr. Jackson, you went together like over a year, and I haven't, and I didn't get pregnant, so I didn't figure, you know, that he would be the father because I had met Mr. Thompson, and then, like in a couple of months, I got pregnant, so. I just was figuring that Mr. Thompson was her father. Were you using protection with both of these men during your intimate relationship? No, Your Honor. I have a calendar stating about it. Uh, Jerome, the time, please hand about me. the time that I got pregnant. Hand me that. Uh... Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let me understand this. This calendar outlines the window of conception. Yes, Your Honor. The blue is the date you were intimate with Mr. Jackson. The green, the date you were intimate with Mr. Thompson. And the pink color outlines the window of conception, which we can see you've had sex with both men during that time. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Thompson, you remember the day she told you she was pregnant? Yes, I remember when she told me that she was pregnant and I was excited. I was real happy. And Mr. Jackson, what about you? Well, it was uh, in a convenience store one day, if I can recall correctly. I say, uh, what happened? Are you pregnant? Yeah, it's not yours. She was very, she was very sarcastic about it. And I was like, okay. So I left well enough alone. I kept track of the time and everything. And when she gave birth to the young lady, I went there. To the hospital? Uh, yes. Again, I was told, she's not your daughter. I left well enough alone. So, after you have the baby, what happens? I was there. I Were you there the when Miss Smith was born? No, I, she wouldn't let me. She would not allow me to be at the hospital when my baby was born. You okay? wouldn't allow him? No, I was young and and I just felt kind of shame and I didn't want to be with nobody at that time. I just wanted to be by myself because you know I didn't know what I was gonna do. Uh, and I was so, scared. I was very, I was scared about so, it. So, Mr. Jackson, so let me you... ask you this. At some point, you find out about Mr. Thompson. Yes. What, how did that come about? Well, uh, I had heard rumors and different things like that, and I went to his house and I confronted him. I told him, you being no, played, no, no, I told no, him, no, you no, being no, played no. for a fool, you claiming somebody no. else's child. <laughs> Simple. You claim they were And how did child. you know he was claiming somebody else's child? How because did you know I it did, wasn't his? I did the numbers also. And the numbers yeah. and the numbers worked out for me too. Sir. 
And so I have... you thought you were the father as well? Yes. That's why I showed up at the hospital. Uh, I, I and I'm sitting here today listening to her, him say that she said that he couldn't be at the hospital, whatnot, whatnot. And I was there. And you asked me to leave? I'm, I'm not nowhere in this picture? Come on. And so you're angry because you feel like you've yes, been, been deprived. cheated out of your child's life. I've been cheated life. out of 28 years. I'm sitting here looking at this young lady. I've been cheated 28 years. But never hey, stepped up. Keyshawn, yeah. let How me bring you in How could I step up if you wouldn't let me be there? You no, I, was, I was there. I was you there. The I was there. Yeah. You came to the I house was there. for the I way I was. Was born. You went over to his yeah. house way. Talk, talking about that's your child, but you still live in the same place and where I you, was while you didn't try yeah. for a DNA test. How could I push the issue when a woman has told me this is not my child? How but am I going to push the issue? But you knew that you had relationship with me, you still could have yeah. came and tried it. So what you're saying and is, you is despite the fact that I was telling you one story, right? you should have yes. done something else. Yes, Your Honor, he could have came for it just like I could have did. How could I? But he, didn't, but he didn't do it. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Who did you think your father was growing up? Mr. Thompson. Always? Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's... that's How'd you find angel. out that he may not be She's and Mr. Angel. Jackson could be? Um, it was just one day at the house. Uh, my mom was just first kidding around. Um, and then it got kind of serious after I had my um, child who was born with six fingers. And um, that's when she actually told me that uh, Mr. Jackson also had the six fingers as well. So it kind of ran in the family. Woo, out of the blue? After all these years, you thinking I Mr. Thompson was your father? Yes, Your Honor. So what were you thinking? What did you say? Very upset with her. Like, why did it take you so long? You know? <laughs> That's the same question I have. Why did it take her so long? Because she lied to me for 28 years. It, right, it, but... it took me so long because just like I said, I did not know. What is this you're holding? This is my evidence. What is this, sir? A picture of my hand. With the sixth finger. With yeah. the sixth finger. <laughs> Can we see your hands? I don't have no six fingers. Oh, okay. And Miss Smith, is it only one child? How many children do you have that have this trait? Two, the one I have now. Um, the child you're pregnant with? Yes. You can see it on the ultrasound? Yes. And I also have a picture of my son hand as well, and the doctor Jerome, even told me that. me that it runs in the family. That if more than one child has this trait, it's likely that it runs in the family. Yes, you okay. are. I know from deep down in my heart, baby, you're mine, okay? I mean, you guys right? both say that. You. you guys I both say you. that, though. Yeah, and both of you guys say that, but nobody is stepping up. Like, but I'm, I'm almost 30 years old. Mr. Thompson, you say you know in your heart that she's your child, and yet this physical trait, this sixth finger, that but her child I did, has. Your Honor, I did research, okay? I did my research on this six finger, this six finger thing. And Let me see this, sir. It's hereditary. hereditary. Right? And it's not, okay, that's some hereditary And your research stuff. says what? It's some sir? hereditary stuff that, that, that it doesn't happen all the time like that. Okay, so the research does show that it can occur even if there is no other family history. And you, and you say, no, you're saying to me here today, don't be mad at your mom, don't blame it all on your no. mom. He's the only one had knowledge about being your father. But I even didn't. even after the no, fact that no. we even got okay. communication. I did not. Even no, after no, the no, fact no, no, that no, we no, got no, communication. You, you knew too because you came up to the hospital. You knew. Try. He knew because he came up to the hospital. If you, didn't, if you didn't believe that that was your child, then why did you come up to the hospital? Take a breath. I know you gentlemen are very upset. And I understand why. This is a beautiful young lady standing here saying she never felt like she had a father and nobody stepped up for her. No. Nobody. No. And, and no. no. why? My mom I can was see everything. How in... Everybody in this room seems so angry. The person that really suffered is her. 
Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That's true. That's true. That was that's the true. next statement out of my mouth. Yeah. And that's true. I can't, it, no matter what happens here today, I can't get back those 28 years. No. But we can start here and go forward. Right. That's yeah, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I'm so willing. Sure I want to. Yeah. And I want her sure to. Can. I really want her to know her father. Really. It's been a long, long know, time, long time struggling with my daughter. Yes. But like I said, even though Mr. Thompson knew that I say that that was his, his daughter, he didn't do nothing. He came like after I had my daughter, he came, he bought little stuff for her, um, maybe gave my mama, he started off giving my mama maybe $50 because I was young. Okay. No, he, okay, no, but, he, he, but there he, is a, no, no, hold on. Hospital. There is a sad irony that here hospital. that I think is being overlooked. The man you said was your child's father, you're disappointed in him because he never stepped up. No. And yet another man who wanted to know whether or not he was your child's father so he could step up, you pushed away. <laughs> and then, Miss Smith, you're the one standing here. You look, I mean, the look on your face, I feel for you because it's like, I mean, that's a lot of confusion yes, for a young girl. it's very important to me, you know, because I'm looking to get married soon. And then and here you are having walk. children with a certain physical yes. trait and a doctor talking to you. Look, I know what being oh pregnant is like. I have a child. Yes. People talking to you about your child's medical history. People talking to you about And I don't know where it come from. I'm looking like both of them here. This <laughs> is it. I see yes. this on your face. Yes. Yes. And the more With the I trade, in, and I see, you know, myself. And the more I sit here and look Thompson. at you and watch you smile, you also have my dimples. Yes, I saw that too when I seen the picture of you, the, the cheekbones, you know, the, the, the color. So as you standing here with this man on the witness stand, you looking at a man as he's talking, and you feeling like he kind of looks like me. Yeah, both of them. Yes. And it makes you emotional. Both of them. And as and you look my at first time the defendant, them. you see parts of yourself in him. Yes. What do you so see? I don't in, know. What do you see when you look at the Mr. height, Thompson? That's the all forehead. I see, the height. That's all I see. <laughs> you know, the height, the forehead, you know, the, the shape. And isn't that, Miss Galavis, let's just be really honest. Yes, Your Honor. Isn't that? Just awful to have yeah. to watch your daughter stare at two men that are pretty much strangers yes, and have to pick at features yes, and Honor. see who do I see? And I have pictures. Yes, Your Honor, but I, like I said, at... I was young and I was confused and I was scared and I didn't. Miss Galavis, I, I, mean, I could have told you. He knew. Miss Galavis, as you described the like time you, you lived in. Yes. I understand the time. Yes, Your Honor. I understand why you were fearful. I can even say I understand why you lied. Yes. And I understand that you were so young, you didn't even know what you were doing. Yes, Because sure. you had a man running up to the hospital trying to claim the child, but you're just pushing him away. I get that. That's what young kids do that yes. don't know. Yes, Shiana. So at this point, what is everyone's hope today? I you want, I want her to be mine. You've I had 28 years for to be yours. I and what have you done with them? What have you done with them? I didn't huh? know. I didn't what have you, what have you done with them? Oh, Mr. Jackson, you was up at the let's get some order. I wasn't here to be up there. Let's get some order. Mr. Jackson, what are your hopes today? I hope she's mine. Even if she's not. From this day forward, that young lady don't have to want for anything as long as I have a heartbeat. We're going to want some more. That she's not. Jerome, may I have the results, nothing. please? She ain't gonna want for nothing. She wanted for quite a bit. Yeah. She wanted a daddy for 28 years. But well, where was you at? Huh? You wasn't yeah. around. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Galavis, Smith versus Thompson, Jackson, when it comes to 28-year-old Keyshawn Smith, it has been determined that her biological father is 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Galavis, Smith versus Thompson Jackson, when it comes to 28-year-old Keyshawn Smith, it has been determined that her biological father is Mr. Thompson. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keyshawn. Keyshawn. Thank you. Apologize, Ronald. Hey, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I wasn't there. Mr. Jackson, you're okay? Thank you, Joanna. Long time coming. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Joanna. Mr. Jackson, I can feel your sorrow from here and the passion you had and the anger that you thought you had missed out on such a beautiful young lady and she has grandchildren for you. I saw you ready to fill that void in her life. And I want to commend you for that because it was really, it was honorable. It really was. And look who's coming. Thank you. Don't forget what I told you. Okay? Now, Mr. Thompson? Yes, I'm happy. Thank You're you. happy? Yes, very happy. Now, you got to be there. Oh, I am. I am. I'm going to. I wish you all the best. And you know what? Mm. We know you all are family now, and I want you to work it out. Yes. But I sincerely hope you can find a place in your heart and in your life for Mr. Jackson. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because I think he's just a part of your village, and every person needs their village, and it can never be too much love. No. All right? No. The best of luck to all of you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'm very relieved, because it's been such a long time. 28 years finding out who her father is. Once I heard the resorts, I'm so relieved now. I know who my father is. Now I got my baby back, so thank you. Thank you.